Welcome to Gospel Music USA, bringing you the best in Southern gospel music from coast to coast. Now here are your hosts of Gospel Music USA, Danny Jones, Karen Peck Gooch, and Mike LeFevre. And hello everyone, welcome to Gospel Music USA, your home on the television for great Southern gospel music. My name's Danny Jones. I'm Karen Peck Gooch with Karen Peck and New River. I'm Mike LeFevre of the LeFevre Quartet. And you know, Mike, today I am thrilled about our guests. We have a group that is coming to sing for us that is truly a legend in Southern gospel music. Matter of fact, this group, when they first got started, they went out to hear Karen Peck sing and they kind of formulated <laughs> everything from That's that. That's it. But anyway, yeah. these guys are a true tradition in gospel music. They began back in 1964. They come to us from the Great Smoky Mountains, ladies and gentlemen. Will you please make welcome the legendary Inspirations. Trouble sometimes are here, feel a bit hard. from 1974, When I Wake Up to Sleep No More. What a glad call, some wonderful morning, just to hear Pharaoh's trumpet sound. When I wake up, when I wake up to sleep no more, rise to meet our blessed Redeemer with a glad shout, I'll leave the ground. When I wake up, when I wake up to sleep no more, when I wake up, some glad morning, to sleep no more. Free 
Welcome back to Gospel Music USA. Our guest today, the Inspirations Quartet from Bryson City, North Carolina. Any gospel music fan in the world knows the term Bryson City. Yes. And uh, right now visiting with Mike and Karen and myself, we have Luke, Matt, and Martin. <laughs> and uh, these three, uh, they've all got very unique roles with it, within the Inspirations. And Matt, we'll start with you. Of course, uh, uh, lead vocalist, the guy who kind of keeps it all together, does what Martin needs done. Uh, how long have you been with the Inspirations now? I'm going into my 15th year. I'm, uh, now, I left after about 12 years, come back five years later, but we're going into our 15th year with the guys, and it's been a blessing to me just to be a part of them to go across the country spreading the gospel through music, and uh, especially the way the Inspirations do, that old Inspiration style. Right. You know, it's since yeah, day and, one yeah. in, in 1964. And, right. It's been the same. Yeah. I, and I, you're I, Legends. I mean, really, you're yeah. you're a legend, and you, a what? you're a legend. <laughs> How do you get that? You know, you know, you know what? Happened. It just, it just, it, happened. It just <laughs> happens naturally. There you are. You're I, consistent. I told, I told Karen a while ago while you were singing. I said, I said they still sound right. the same. I said the the style, everything is just we the, have to what people have loved all these yeah. years. And you've got the same, yeah, the same sound. And it's uh, and it's that's why it's you've kept it going. Every, you know you've um, you've kept the style you know going, and you've kept the sound going consistently all these years. We've had some group changes. You know, there for a long time we had longevity of uh, members uh, uncompared. I mean that's for sure. But then it went through several changes. But with the changes, uh, we've seen a consistent sound, and we're so thankful for that because that's one thing we pray about. Because uh, that is one thing I think we can do different than any other. Uh, group out there and not that not saying we do any better but we just do something different and that is inspiration style music yeah. you know there's always been a, a question I've, I wanted to ask Martin where did the name the inspirations come from inspirations mm -hmm. well I was in uh, uh, I was in the church and in uh, Mammoth Cave Kentucky I was a park ranger then a little preacher preached on divine inspirations and we had started singing that spring, and we didn't have uh, a name. And so he preached on divine inspiration. And so that's where I got the name Inspirations, right there in a little church on the corner in Brownsville, Kentucky. Now, you were also a school teacher. Right, I was a school teacher too. What did you teach? I taught chemistry and physics. Wow. My goodness. All right, now, it, 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 with such a legendary group, of course, Martin's been there since day one. Uh, Matt, 15 years. 
Luke is one of the newest members of the group, but uh, what he has today is a piece of Inspirations history. Now, Luke is the utility player. He, he's one of those guys that can play anything. He's he, Actually, he's one of those guys that just makes you irritated because he's so talented. But uh, that bass that you're holding right there, uh, that's got a very special place within the Inspirations history, too. Yep. It was, uh, they bought it in 1971. Uh, Troy Burns was playing the bass at the time and he had a regular electric bass and they bought him this one. And then uh, Roger Fortner played it and then Jack Laws played it. And then when Myron started, he played it and I brought it today. All right, now that, that bass has been a part of some very significant recordings in the Inspirations history. The Warner Robins Live records, the two, they're probably the most famous records the group ever made and uh, it was used on that and you can see it on the cover of the record. Right, yeah, I love that. You know, that, those are recording. big records in yes, all of our was, history. But it, did, you hit a million, am I right? Do what? A million, a million copies. Sold, a million yes. copies We've sold, sold over a million copies. Over wow. a million. And 1971 is a significant number because that's the year this base, but that's all the, also the year they bought the Big Eye, the bus. Brand new, put four and a half million miles on it and drove it 28 years. So wow. Yeah. Did you did you grow up listening to their music did, too I and I you did. knew all their, their My songs? My mother w was the type, she wouldn't just tell you not to listen to something. She said, why don't you listen to this? And she gave me a record album, telling my age, a record album of the inspirations. And I thought, what a blessing it'd be just to have that opportunity to have that impact on somebody. I'd never dreamed I'd have the opportunity to be with that very group. Wow. And you, you have a great judge of characters when you hire these guys too because you've had a lot of preachers in your group. Yeah, well I think that these people are, uh, uh, I think that God chooses them ahead of time. It's like I think God orders a lot of the things that we don't really know is happening. I think that God orders our steps yes. if we're really a child of God. It's not that we're that great or that good or whatever. It's just the way, uh, that's just the way he works. And I'm proud to be a part of the greatest music the world has ever known. Yeah. It's done more good for people. And now other music, I like other music too. Uh, when I was in Korea, I was listening to uh, uh, the guy singing, send me the pillow that you dream on <laughs> so I can dream on it too. I like any good song. I like Dvorak symphonies, but, uh, but gospel music does more for people and has done more for people than any other music that I've ever known. You're right. And yeah. you know, the, you, you can't think of the inspirations without thinking of a very historical event uh, that takes place every July uh, that are associated with the group. Matt, tell us a little bit about the Singing in the Smokies. Yeah, this year, the, well, the Singing in the Smokies has been going on since 1974. And so we're, this year will be our 42nd year. It'll be on July 1, 2, 3, 4. So it'll be on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 6 o'clock on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and then on the 4th. We'll start at 12 o'clock, have a lot of the major groups in gospel music there, and it's right on the mountain, one of the most beautiful backdrops for a singing anywhere. Matt, and you said major groups, didn't you? Major. I don't know what that means, but you, I thought it sounded you, good. You included Little Roy Lewis well, in that too. <laughs> we had major right. groups and Little Roy. No, I'm <laughs> hey, That's great. You, you've sang a time or two at Inspiration. That's Party. it. I have so you've many, been there many times. fond memories of singing on the on in the Smoky, singing on the mountain, and uh, what what great memories. I tell is. you something about that, y'all. This is a little bit. of... That's where I gave Kathy her engagement ring. Okay. <laughs> was oh, that, was at the park up there. We Very were singing sweet. up there. So is that a good memory or a bad it's memory? A good memory. <laughs> it's a good memory. It's a good memory. All right. Well, we're going to let Mike and Matt go out back and settle this here while we're taking a break here at Gospel Music USA. Coming right after the break, we're going to have more music from this legendary group called The Inspiration. So make sure you tell all your friends that Gospel Music USA is on the air. Welcome back to Gospel Music USA. Here's our song of the year from 2007, I Have Not Forgotten. Jesus, 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 only begotten. 
I was lost without hope. have not forgotten. What a great, great, great song. Now here's a brand new song that's out. It's not long until forever. Until 
last will have no measure in that land of endless day but we It's just fantastic. I love that song. Yeah, and I'm telling you, you all have such a gift for choosing the songs. I know those of you who are listening at home, y'all can uh, can agree with me. I mean, we grew up uh, singing so many of your songs. Uh, Some morning you'll find me touring that city and all these different, follow me so, so right. long. But so many songs that, uh, that you all are known for and that's going to be another one right there. That's from your new album? Yeah, that's well, Actually, one year ago we put that out. It's our third release off of it and uh, God has greatly blessed it. But the thought is, it's not long until forever. We're one breath away from eternity. Amen. What a great thought. Amen. And uh, Martin was uh, speaking earlier before the cameras came on that uh, you have an album out that he feels like this is the best one ever. That's right. It's called Pray For Me. And that, that is our new release off of that is Pray For Me. You have a song about prayer. We have yes. a song about prayer. And I think it's just a sign of the time. That's the most powerful yeah. weapon that we have is the it weapon is. of prayer. And, and if we can just get God's people praying for one another and lost people, then we're ahead on the game, that's for sure. That's it. And you know what? That, that prayer, that's that's the key because God answers prayer and He hears those pleas when we, we cry out to Him and ask for prayer. And and uh, we're just so thankful that y'all are here today. Thank y'all for joining us uh, on the show with the Gospel Music USA. Folks, we know that you uh, want to know how to get in touch with them. Watch your website if they want to book you for dates or order your product. Where do they go? www.theinspirations.com. We'd love to have you visit our site, and it'd be great to have you come by and see us on the website and let us know what you're thinking about The Inspirations. Again, www.theinspirations.com. So y'all right. make sure that uh, that you email them, order their product, go and see them in concert. You will be so blessed. And we are looking forward to hearing another song from The Inspirations. Remember, folks, you can go on Gospel Music USA, and uh, we have a, a fan page on Facebook. Make sure you go in and like like us on Facebook. Guys, again, thank you for joining us. And uh, y'all, here they are, the inspirations. our hands in praise we wait on someone else but jesus died at calvary god's plan he did fulfill and that is why i stand today trying to do his will i'm not ashamed to stand and say that i love jesus i'm not ashamed to say i'm trusting in his word i'm not ashamed to lift up high Bloodstained banner because I'm saved. I'm not ashamed. In this life we have his blessing. 
blessings, yet we fail to praise his name. He said if we were ashamed of him, to us he'd be the same. But when he gave his life at Calvary, he did it for all men, so that we could proudly stand and say, Shame to live. 